Hello students, this video is all about parenchyma and in this video we will learn the types and function of parenchyma and at the end we will learn how you can learn the types of parenchyma through an easy trick. This is the second video of this chapter that is tissue. In last video we have discussed about the types of plant tissue and there we have seen how you can learn the types of plant tissue through an easy trick and if you have not seen that video link the description box below. So this is Nisha Chauhan and you are watching Scienceaholic. So welcome back to my channel. So let's get into the video. So here we will discuss about the permanent tissue. Now the permanent tissue classified into two types that is simple and complex. Now the simple tissue further divided into three types that is parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma. Now the parenchyma further divided into three more types that is parenchyma, erenchyma and chlorenchyma. Now the chlorenchyma classified into two more types that is palisade and spongy. So today we will discuss about this only in this video. So let's get start the types of parenchyma. First type of parenchyma is chlorenchyma. Now chlorine means it has chloroplast in it. So from word you can identify that it has chloroplast. It means it helps in the function of photosynthesis. So cells which have chloroplast and perform photosynthesis, it's called chlorenchyma. The mesophyll cells and leaves which differentiate into palisade and spongy cells. Now the mesophyll cells are the cells which present in the leaves only and which is differentiated into two types that is palisade and spongy that we will discuss later. In the other green parts of the plant like stems and sepal you can find this chloro chlorine chyma. So now here you can see in the picture chlorophyll is present in the chlorine chyma. It means it helps in the function of photosynthesis. Now let's discuss about erenchyma. They contain very large intercellular space. Now the erenchyma you can understand the word eren means it has air cavities. These are present in aquatic plants. Now this erenchyma present only in aquatic plant. Erenchyma helps in the buoyancy of the floating plant. Now they help in the function buoyancy of the floating plant. It helps in the respiration and provides sufficient oxygen to the aquatic plant. And erenchyma cells are often water filled. Now here you can see in the second picture that these erenchyma cells are having large air cavities. It means it can hold air and which helps in the function of floating. So this is about erenchyma. Now here you can see in the third picture it's a cross section of stem of lotus and here you can see these small small holes it means they are air cavities which hold air and which help in the function of buoyancy so this is about erenchyma now let's see erenchyma cells are continuous from shoots to roots and help in the diffusion of air from leaves to roots now erenchyma cells are the cell which present everywhere in the plant like from shoots to root and what it does it helps in the diffusion of air from leaves to roots so this is the function of erenchyma and present only in aquatic plant it helps in maintaining sufficient oxygen level for the respiration what erenchyma does it help to maintain the level of oxygen for the respiration in the plants so this is about erenchyma now let's see the third type that is mesophyll now mesophyll cells are the particular type of cell that present only in the leaves right so mesophyll cells are large spaces within the leaf that allow carbon dioxide to move freely so this is about mesophyll now the mesophylls are further divided into two types that is palisade and spongy now here you can see in the picture it's a cross section of the leaf the first layer of this it's epidermis and below epidermis palisade is present which are compactly arranged they doesn't have any intercellular space so this is the characteristic feature of palisade they are compactly arranged now the palisade type of cells which present everywhere in the leaf like 70% part of the leaf covered by palisade tissue only. Now you can see here below the palisade means here below this it's a spongy. Now spongy tissues are which are having large intercellular spaces. So it means they can accommodate carbon dioxide. Now let's see spongy. It occurs in central area and consists of oval shaped cell and have large intercellular spaces. Now the difference between both the cell like palisade and spongy. So spongy cells are having 
large oval type of cells right you can differentiate from both they are having rectangular type of cell or elongated you can say and the spongy is the oval type of cell so the 70 percent part of the leaf filled with the palisade so it means they helps in the function of photosynthesis now let's see fourth type that is prosenchyma prosenchyma these are the fiber like elongated cells which are thick walled and provide rigidity and strength to the plant now these are the cells which what it does it provide the rigidity and strength to the plant right so this is about prosenchyma these are the four types of parenchyma now let's see the trick how you can learn these four types of parenchyma through an easy trick so first for chlorenchyma i have taken ch ch for chlorenchyma right for erenchyma i have taken a and for mesophyll i have taken m and for prosenchyma i have taken p so after combining all these first alphabet of these types what it becomes it becomes chams chams is the word for types of parenchyma so through chams you can learn the types of parenchyma easily so this is the trick i hope you like this trick and if you like don't forget to hit the like button now let's see the function of parenchyma cells parenchyma cells form the ground tissue present between the vascular and dermal tissue of the plant now the ground tissue means the tissue which are present below the epidermis and above the vascular bundle it's called ground tissue or you can say it's a sandwich type of tissue sandwich means it present between the vascular and dermal type of tissue now the first function of parenchyma cells are storage what it does it stores so parenchyma cells have large intercellular space which is ideal for the storage now high amount of starch is present in the tubers of potatoes and cassava now you can see large amount of starch is present in the potatoes so this is the function of parenchyma it means if you are eating potato it means you are eating parenchyma to cell this can store water fats oil droplets and ergastic substances and store water and act as a water reserve, water reservoir so parenchyma to cells are the cells which act as a water reservoir let's see the second function of parenchyma transport parenchyma cell transport nutrients and other chemicals so the xylem parenchyma helps in radial transportation of water and mineral xylem parenchyma are the tissue which helps in the radial transportation of water some cells transport light from the surface to the underground cells some cells of xylem parenchyma what they do what they just transfer the light from upper to the underground cell so it means it is helpful in the light transfer also now let's see the third type that is photosynthesis chlorenchyma present in the mesophyll and the other green parts of the plant have chloroplasts and perform the photosynthesis so this is very common function of parenchyma now let's see the fourth function that is gas exchange erenchyma gas is just related to the word eren eren means present air right so erenchyma cells help in the gas exchange in aquatic plant large air cavities are present in parenchyma to give buoyancy to the plant to help them float now in aquatic plant erenchyma helps in buoyancy right to float them on the water now let's see the five fifth function that is protection in gymnosperm the parenchymatous cells have spiny projection they will help in the protection from the predator so this is very important for the gymnosperm now let's see sixth point that is totipotent parenchyma cells have an ability to transform to the other types of cell that is genetic potential of a plant cell to produce the entire plant now here you can see in this image that is the image of carrot root of carrot plant you just uh, culture the root of carrot plant into any nutrient medium and after some time what you will get you will get an adult plant so this type of cells is called totipotent cell and this totipotency is present only in parenchymatous cells so this is about totipotency now let's see buoyancy erenchyma present in aquatic plants have air sacs that help in floating so this we have already discussed that buoyancy helps in floating in aquatic plant it help in reducing transpiration and which survive in the drought condition too thick walled parenchyma cells provide mechanical strength to the plant now the thick walled parenchyma cells are the cell which provide strength rigidity and mechanical strength to the plant so this is all about the function and types of parenchyma and if you have liked this video don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for more videos
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.